Hey everyone, we are here on the set of the photo shoot and video shoot of the top 20 for season 10 of So You Think You Could Dance. I got my man Fiction here. What's up, man? What's up? All right, so you guys just found out last night that you made top 20, and now you're here, photo shoot, video shoot. I mean, you didn't have time to, to contemplate it. So what it, sitting here, like, what has it been going through your head that you're here right now? Um, it's crazy. It still feels very unbelievable. Uh, I mean, a lot is going on, like like you say, like we're doing like you know videos and footage and like pictures. So uh, it feels really cool to be a part of this. To be honest, it feels really really awesome. Absolutely. And what? Who was the first person you told besides your mom? Because everybody tells their mom first. But who was the first person you're like, oh my god, I made top twenty? You know what? I haven't told anybody yet. So they're gonna be surprised next week. They're gonna be very surprised. Yes. So uh, I'm hoping that. Uh, they, hopefully they don't go too surprised and faint, you know, something really bad happens, but yeah. they're going to be surprised, yeah. Yeah, and you can play the whole trick and be like, guys, I'll be home tonight, I, w I didn't make it, and then they watch you on TV instead. Exactly. See, to me, I feel like that's better than me having to tell them for them yeah, to, yeah. to see it for themselves. Yeah, that's that's way more like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, But exactly. you, you know, you can you can drop a little hints. What do you think is going to be the most difficult style for you this season? Um, To be honest, I feel like the most difficult style is going to be hip-hop, only because uh, my hip-hop is a little different from... Uh, you know what most people categorize hip hop, so I feel like I have to adapt to um, that style more and change my outlook on it uh, in order to get the choreography down and present it the way it's supposed to be done. So to be honest, I feel like that's going to be my most challenging. And what um, from past seasons? Who is like someone you hope to work with? Because they bring a lot of former dancers back, former choreographers. Is there somebody you're hoping to, to see back? Um, it'd be awesome if they brought back Phyllis Shabib or Glitch or if I could dance with Twitch. That would be the stuff. Like. Yeah. I would really appreciate that. Shout out to Pac-Man. He's a good friend of ours. So we love, we love Pac-Man. What's a good luck, like ritual or charm that you have before you go on stage? Um, I get nervous, to be honest. Like, I feel like the nerves help me to do everything I need to do when I get on stage. So I try to psych myself out at the same time, like uh, channel my nerves into energy, um, into emotion and character and whatever the judges need uh, to see that night. So definitely my nerves. <laughs> And then what's some, besides dancing, do you have like a, a trick, or not a trick, but a, a, like a talent that nobody knows? Like you can touch your nose with your tongue, you double jointed, you can do impressions, you can speak another language, uh, like one of those crazy things that people wouldn't know about you. Uh, dang, I really don't have anything crazy about me besides the fact that, well, I am not double jointed, but I, with a lot of stretching and dedication and pain, <laughs> I can do something really, really gross. You want to see it? Yeah. You want to see it right now? Yeah. Okay. Take my arm like this, pop it out. Then you gotta move your head through the space like that. And then you just do the, oh no. But I couldn't do that before though. I had to really try and practice and work hard for that. But um, yeah, yeah that's about that's the first thing I could think of. That's a good talent though, that's a good talent. It's <laughs> a good talent. Absolutely, hopefully you could do it, throw it in one of the dances and get a, get a better score. Oh, thank you, <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, lastly, anybody wanna say hi to you back at home or? Um, I want to say a hi to everybody in Kansas, my original hometown. Hi to all my family in Peoria, Illinois, Chicago. Um, I want to say hi to all the people I dance with, um, my street performing buddies. You know who you are. Like, I want to say thank you for supporting me, and um, you're going to find out soon that somebody made it to the top 20. Yeah. Wait, you perform a uh, street performer in Vegas? Yes. So how's that been real quick? Just to, how's that prepared you for this? Uh, the street performers, I feel like, helped me with uh, performing in general on a stage or in front of, like, a large amount of people. Because uh, I feel like, you know, if people want to, I feel like it helps me know what people want to see and uh, what they want from a performance. Yeah. And by hearing their reactions and their feedback and their comments, I feel like that I take that into consideration and I do use it uh, when I go on stage. So. Absolutely. All right, you guys, Fiction is here with us at Season 10 of So You Think You Can Dance. Say goodbye, man. Deuces.